Hey guys, it's Legend Arma TV. It's great to see you again. Today's uh, patch rundown is uh, quite special. It is pretty huge, so I'm having my good friend Tilly right over here. Hey man, good to see you. Uh, that's gonna help me out, uh, touch some things uh, on the uh, table of contents. Uh, so, uh, how are you doing, man? Good to see you. Dude, I'm fantastic. It's patch day. You know how it goes down. Um, I'm just hyped for what's about to happen. All Thank right. Thank you for having me also. Yeah, yeah. It, always my pleasure, man. It, it's been a while. So, uh, the table of contents uh, tells us five things, and uh, we're just going to uh, go through five things real quick. However, if you guys are looking forward to uh, more in-depth uh stuff uh, that this patch contains because it's extremely huge uh, make sure uh, to visit uh, Tilly's stream uh, and my stream we're going to be streaming two hours prior to the maintenance uh, is over so uh, about 3:30 uh, p.m central european time or 11:30 uh, p.m eastern time so uh, we hope to see you there and uh, my first question to you uh, Tilly what do you think uh, we are gonna get today. Okay, so there's an obvious part and a not so obvious part, right? So it's a no-brainer. We know they announced it three months ago. It's gonna be the level 110 update. It's gonna be new gear, new raid, and just a whole bunch of changes. It's like that one time per almost two year cycle where the game gets a really fresh uh, fresh breath of air, right? Yeah. It's gonna be both for new and for uh, veteran players something something new to experience, something new to gear up to, and that's for the expected part. As for the unexpected part, I'm not sure. Usually I'm the guy who who's aware of all of the Korean changes, right? And I would be able to predict. Um, I know Korea has a bunch of, like, Besides content we, they're missing, or we are missing, there's a bunch of quality of life stuff, I think. There is, as far as I know, big UI changes. Yeah, that should and, be there. And yeah, I'm, I'm just hoping for maybe them cleaning up some of the things that just make the game more enjoyable now that we have new content. It pairing up with just a healthier game overall would just be fantastic, yeah. I guess I guess you're right. Well, I mean, I, we hope we can only hope that uh, the, uh, uh, the the UI changes, the some quality of life are going to happen because uh, in the uh, huge patches like that, uh, it, it it is a uh, it, it is a little detail, but it has an impact on the gameplay certainly. So yeah, it uh, would just be a missed opportunity to not to right. Like... Yeah, definitely. So this is probably going to be the convenience improvements. That's what. Uh, uh, we've been covering Ooh, point number much. three. Yeah, yeah, I see it right now. Mm -hmm. uh, what about the uh, battle changes in bonus core condition per quick battle damage contribution? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I am aware that Korea did decrease the minimum damage contribution for a quick battle, right? So a while ago, I think like a few years actually at this point, mm -hmm. they increased it from 4 up to 7%. Which was yeah. quite hard for new players to get at times. Yeah, it was harsh before. That's so right. Korea actually decreased it. I think it was five percent. So something so like this, yeah. Still higher than the 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 previous, like the original, but lower than right now, which is gonna be cool. But at the same time, even though while that for quick battle is cool, as far as I know, they also inc like came up with a minimum damage contribution for redeemers, mm -hmm. and that's gonna be not so pleasant for the new player because you have to deal 2% damage for not just to get loot from the Redeemer, but also the progression. And to be honest, expecting a new player to deal 2% damage on Redeemers on their first go... That's a lot. That's a bit tough. I don't yeah, like that at it, all. It's very tough. I agree with you. I, like, I actually hope that we don't get this patch yet, and I don't think I've ever said this <laughs> before. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. We'll see, though. Yeah, that's definitely is the... the uh, Point four is definitely uh, quite interesting uh, to see what we're going to have. And what do you think about the other changes? What can be uh, described? What can we expect from the other changes? What we're going to have? Mm. 
That's actually a good question. I'll be honest with you. I don't think I have any any expectations at this point. Like, <laughs> not to sound over dramatizing, but I would rather just not expect anything and just be pleasantly surprised by whatever we get in addition to what the patch notes already tell us. That that's fair enough. But yeah. uh, we, we we both know that expecting and Nexon, it's like the, the, these two things are. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It's like, just yeah, it's just but it's just better <laughs> not to expect anything to be honest at this point. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's it, guys. Uh, remember that uh, two hours prior uh, to the uh, maintenance uh, being over, uh, we're going to be streaming and we're going to go through all these things to see if we did score something uh, right uh, from the update. Uh, we're also going to be saving the uh, wads uh, of the video. So even if you miss the uh, streams, uh, you'll be able to catch it up uh, right there. Uh, we also plan to uh, make separate videos on some of the uh, most important stuff uh, that's going to be there. So um, make sure to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Tilly's channel, so you don't miss out on all the good things. And now we're and moving now on to the sales and the events. Now, we're only going to cover 50% uh, here uh, of the events and the sales. Uh, the other 50% you guys can check out on uh, Tilly's video on the rundown patch. So we're gonna have we're gonna play a little game here, and I'm gonna give Tilly the name of the uh, crystals, and let's see if he can figure out what kind of outfits is in this gacha. So the crystal is called Dreamy Crystal. Tilly, what do you think uh, we're gonna get in this gacha? Okay, so Nexon usually does hint towards which sets are part of the gacha through their name, right? So it is called Dreamy. Um, let me, let me guess, it has something to do with, with dreaming, maybe, I don't really see any set that would be related to that, so maybe the opposite, like, like having a nightmare, um, I'm pretty sure Serene's battle name was called something something nightmare, wasn't it, Ilka's nightmare, right? Yeah. So, uh, let me predict the set that is themed after Serene, which is the Devil Fairy, mm -hmm. and... Maybe also just Sukubus Queen. I know we are overdue for the all curve set of the Sukubus Queen. People are waiting for it. I don't. I like. I don't want it. <laughs> but I don't know. Mm, apart from that, there's gonna be probably something either pets, objects, low tier sets. I think. I think I'm just gonna all in on the Sukubus. To be honest, Sukubus pets. So Devil Fairy Sukubus Queen set Sukubus pets. That's my prediction. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, you didn't score a single one here. What? It is, yeah, it, Damn, it, 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 it is actually way worse than you predicted. It would be pretty okay, pocket okay. if we had that, but this current gacha uh, has airtight special old curves nature's breeze set, which is yikes. I don't know, but uh, yeah, yeah I guess I guess it's gonna be in a. Um, Destiny box, so you'll be able to choose uh, the version of a regular Nature Breeze and yeah. all curves. Uh, also, a special Teve Aura set, uh, a regular one and an Aurum. That's okay. And uh, there is also Airtight Special Captain Keegan Aura and regular sets. They really need to stop with the Aura <laughs> stuff. Uh, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. It needs to be more visible. Mm -hmm. like, it's bad how it's just like. No difference. Agreed. Airtight special dragon soul set, which is kind of pog, and uh, special elven knight and elven ranger sets. So this is probably going to be the the biggest thing because I know a lot yeah. of people do love elven ranger sets. So, and also two objects. Uh, one is elegant throne, which kind of weird because it's elegant sofa, and Regina thrones. Dude, I should so, have gone with the with the objects. I I went for the pets. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's still going to be pretty good for people who don't have that um, to try snatch that. But uh, to be honest, this whole gachi is just a rerun, uh, just resales. So, guys, uh, the probability the probability rates are over here. Uh, and uh, I wish you good luck if you're going to be doing this gacha. But uh, I think Tilly, just uh, you and me, this is a, definitely a skip. I don't know, since I, I can't be saying it on my video, since it's not part of uh, my 50%. Nexon, you did bad. I'm sorry. It's a big pad. It's a big pad. <laughs> He's right. He's I'm right. Sorry. He's no. right. It, it should it should have been much more, definitely. All right, we're moving on to the events. And we're going to play this uh, little game with Tilly again. So Tilly, do tell me 
uh, daily missions event. What do you think this is going to be? Okay, I'm confident this time I'll get it right. Daily mission is pretty obvious. We had those events before. Uh, you complete daily missions, the one that rewards the daily ticket. And in addition to the ticket, you'll probably get yet another like coupon exchange thing that lets you use a exchange shop. And my prediction was also going to be... In the past, the exchange shop have been kind of underwhelming, not on par with some of the other events. So, I don't know, probably like all right, but nothing too amazing. Yeah, and you are completely right here, actually. I this uh, this event, uh, whenever you complete the daily missions, you'll receive three welcome coupon items, and you can exchange them. So, 63 welcome coupons throughout the event. And in the exchange shop, you can exchange them for some goodies, uh, like home VIP service, 7 days, st stamina potion, 30 minutes. Uh, I guess uh, we will need that with you, Tilly. <laughs> Playing so spell sword Risha. I take those. Ar Do those expire? Let me bank those up. What? Uh, I don't know. I don't think they do. Oh, poggers, nice. <laughs> yeah, and then there is a uh, AP, uh, superior guild campfires, goddess graces, fatigues. So basically, like the regular stuff uh, mm. that you need for the battles. And there was also one thing in particular. It's called boon box that you can purchase with four tickets. And the boon box contains three scrolls that you can you can activate. And uh, oh, is it gonna be like a balance crit? Yeah, it is balance plus two scroll, uh -huh. crit plus two scroll, and there is also additional damage plus two hundred scroll. I look like the balance and crit. Maybe get some quick. I like the I like the additional players. damage one actually. True for us, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, like, it's gonna wasn't be. Wasn't it so far when they did those scrolls that there was nothing for late like, game players? It was just like, ooh, have crit even though you're a crit max. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it is. It is definitely. It's like, it's like an event that you're gonna be able to do anyway, right? If you're uh, playing all the time. I so. think I like it better than I expected. No joke. Yeah. Yeah. Same. It, it actually it is a good event, definitely. Sure. All right, let's try let's try another event, which is and this might actually be tricky. Uh, let's see what Tilly thinks. Uh, three cheers for the hero. Three cheers. The hero. So so players are referred to as the hero, right? In in Vindictus. I can't really so, tell because the, the picture for it is just uh, people uh, drinking vodka or something. <laughs> Dude. Um, damn, now I'm confused. I was about... <laughs> let, let, me, let me go with my original idea. So the hero, usually the player is referred to as the hero in Vindictor. So it has to be something with the player. Since we already recorded my video and I know there's another like level up event, I think I'm kind of like maybe cheating here. Um... Cheering for some hero, maybe maybe like like a returning event, like for people that come back. That's right. That's, that's what is it? It it it, it actually Holy. is. Damn, crazy. Yeah. What do we get though? A step by step guide for heroes who are returning after a long time away. Log uh -huh. in, follow the story, and earn an abundance of items as gifts. So yeah, spot on, man. So you have to log cool. in with a level seventy plus character. To see the following three stories, and then oh, you earn... Thank God plus, dude. I hate when they <laughs> be like, oh, it has to be lower than level 60. What is this? Uh, yeah, you, you, have to be, <laughs> <laughs> you have to be level 111 to do that. Dude, nice. I can do it on my LAN. I think my LAN is still like level 50. Let's go. Yeah, but nobody <laughs> plays LAN. But... <laughs> Wait, after the changes? No joke. I want to I want to test them, actually. Yeah, well... Okay, what do you get? No, what's, yeah. what's, like the, what's yeah. like the deal here? So, uh, story completion conditions and rewards. Royal Abyss Challenge. Uh, clear two battles uh, from uh, Into the Abyss, Radiance, or Burning Temple. So that's Royal Army Raids, the new uh -huh. Royal Army Raids. Uh, you will earn Royal Army Battle Tokens. Earn up to two Royal Army Battle Tokens uh, for the event period. There is also one to clear Abyssal Arena or, or Abyssal Arena 2, two times. So you get uh -huh. special talk tokens for that. Uh, and you can exchange them uh, for Mysterious and Abyssal Shard Grade 2, which is pretty poggers. There was a so. yeah. They don't have expiration date. Thank thank God for that. That's mm -hmm. one of the things. The other one is a Stereo mm -hmm. Region Raid Challenge. So this story uh, tells you to clear any battles from Claire to Lou, and uh, you can uh -huh. gain ten tokens here. 
And there was also like a, a different shop for these. So you can get a Damascus Steel Destiny box, Departure Licenses, and Seals of Bravery. And uh, the Damascus Wait. Steel, you can uh, choose either Damascus Steel level 105, five, mm -hmm. uh, times 5, or a regular Damascus Steel uh, 2. 2 times. Mm -hmm. And a True Redemption Challenge story as well. So you have to clear... Dude, that's it. That event is loaded. What up? Yeah, it's, it's huge, actually. Okay. And there was also one other story uh, for Redeemers. So clear any... Any uh, battles from Sea of Reflection, Dark Side of the Moon, Tempering the Sword, or Tree of Life, two times. Mm. Uh, and uh, after you do that, you can exchange that for a title. Seal of Bravery, and Goddess Grace, Merc Pots, Resendling Wings, and Server Megaphone. So it's kind of meh, I would say, the, uh, the uh, it's, Redeemer it's a story. Lot, yeah. but all of it feels kind of... It's kind of it's kind of like a raiding event, to be honest. For wait, me. wait, and it's also wait, it's also a a, a, a returning event, right? So yeah. It's only for people that are marked as missing, like with a yellow heart, thirty days. I don't know. It's just it's just it say it, it, no. It, it actually doesn't. It just says that like in with a level seventy plus character. Okay, so it may not be just re a returning. Maybe I was wrong. After all. Yeah, so basically, basically uh, there is going to be three stories that you have to complete, and uh, you're going to earn different tokens by doing different types of content. It sounds interesting for sure, because I don't think we had this set up like, ever before. It's a little, so, yeah, it's a little bit different, for sure. Yeah, true. Yeah. Well, true. So, another really good event, so we're going to add that to the list of the good events now. <laughs> and the last one. All right, Tilly. To the max event. To the max. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I was waiting for that one, no joke. Every <laughs> time, it's my third level increase in the game, and they usually run um, an event, you get max level, you get a title. So far, these have been super underwhelming, because they spent one event just giving you one title. That's right. However, since I'm the, I don't want to call myself the Korean guy, um, <laughs> but I do actually know what the Korean servers are doing from time to time, and on the Korean level 110 release, there was such a progress event that gave you loads of good stuff like steels and shards, like Mysterious Episode. If we were to get that, I'd be so happy. But it's going to be a title minimum, maybe, hopefully, the Korean version of it. So, you are partially right, actually. Mm -hmm. So, in order to progress into this event, uh, you need a character that is level 1+. plus, uh, So you can start the story. And... Mm -hmm. uh, the thing is, so whenever you reach level 106, you're going to get a box troshka, which is a, an equivalent to a Russian's matryoshka, pretty much. <laughs> so it's going to yeah. be a box. And inside that box, 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 box yeah, yeah, you can get uh, Jardin Steels, which is the new ones. Damn, how many? Yeah, and uh, they are also account shareable. So uh, whenever you reach level 106 with this character, you get uh, this box, you open it up, and you can uh, send it to your uh, alts or to your main. Whenever you reach level 107, you get another box, which gives you another uh, part of the steel. Level 109 and 110. So this event is basically giving you uh, Jordan Steel per box. How many in total? Uh, it's, uh, it should be, yeah, I think so. No, it's five, five boxes, actually. And one steel each, so five steels? Yeah, so you get five steels. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you get, uh, seven, actually. So you get four each level, and at max level, which is 110, you're gonna get three of the Jardin Steel. So you get seven Jardin Steels, and also uh, the last box, which is 110 box, right? You're also going to get Abyssal Shard Grade 2 box, okay. uh, three Intermediate Element Stones, and a title. Hey, there it is. Hey. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we, we, we <laughs> finally... I was like, wait, there's no way. <laughs> we, finally, we finally caught it. Dude, uh, like yeah. 21... That's, those Steels are worth like 21 Damascus. I like the Intermediate Stones. Yeah, it, it's not too bad, I would say. The immediate stone to me feel like like the piece of candy is like, ooh, have some. Like, <laughs> it's not gonna like 
make or break your, your gearing process, but it's nice to get them every now and then. I just I just wish uh, it, it would be like every level that you get, not just the 105 to 110. It would be too many, I think. Yeah, but honest. yeah, it would be too yeah. generous. Yeah, Nexon doesn't yeah, yeah, yeah. Nexon doesn't speak generous pretty much. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's a, that's a good one. That's poggers. Yeah, I like that too. Cool. And that's it for today, covering today's patch. It's uh, a little bit uh, different. Uh, our special edition. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Tilly, for helping me out. Guys, make sure to uh, check our streams. Uh, the links are going to be down below. Uh, we're going to start two hours prior to the uh, uh, when maintenance is going to be over, and we're going to go through all the things in the patch uh, more in depth. Uh, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Tilly's channel. Uh, it's always a pleasure to make uh, the content for Vindy for you guys. And uh, we we'll see you soon. Have a good one. Later. Bye.